guys and gals, sweet project cards here with cool trick and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer and simple ways. We took our seats out and of course these bolts down here, this one was really rusted bad. We used a little bit of our spin-off and we had the impact on it and we had to go in and out a couple of times with it and it finally broke loose but spin-off did the job for us again. Take your plastic cover off reasons why your seat belt will retract slowly first reason is it's dirty you have to understand inside this retractor there's only so much room for the belt and when the belts brand new it's really clean and it's really thin as it gets dirty as you know dirt builds up and the belt see how quickly that goes in until it gets to that point and then it slows down because the thickness of the belt is slowing it down in there. Believe me, every time it retracts, it pulls dirt down inside. So if you have your super duper telescooper handy dandy air nozzle, pull your belt all the way out and blow that all out. But we're going to take the retractor out because if you got one that's stuck and it's sticking all the time, I'm going to give you a little clue on how to uh, fix that. You need a 50 Torx. Now there's a cover on most of these, you'll have a cover there, and there's three little pins here, here, and here. But on these little pins here, all you do is come around the back side and you can see them right there. Take your scribe and you pop them out. There's one, two, and they'll, don't lose them. And that's the nice thing about an angled scribe, you can come right in there on an angle. Three. As you see, the belt only has so much room in here. Right here, this little ball bearing tells when that little cog should set and catch those. the cog in here. It's a little flipper tooth thing right there. You'll see it when you take it off. What happens is dirt gets on this, spray it down with some 99%. Take your air nozzle or a computer sprayer for blowing out your keyboards and blow some air on there and get it all cleaned up because what will happen is that ball gets stuck and it won't do what it's supposed to do. That's what actually makes it engage but it's this culprit right here that will keep it from going back in on you and keeps getting stuck all the time. That's it. Now, now that you've got this out, you see how it sticks because it's got to be at the right angle for that to come all the way out. If I hold it right there, it will come all the way out. That ball is pretty touchy. Now that we've got it fully retracted, take right down in here and right down in there, take your dry lube, make sure you shake it up good, put a little squirt right here and a little squirt right there. Not too much. Sounds like I'm fishing. Put your cover back on. Pops on. And then you'll take your needle nose. These only go in one way. Take your needle nose. You'll hold it there. Put your seat belt back in. Your retractor. only goes one way. Now this is a 2005 Chevy Equinox so over time that belt has gotten really dirty and the mechanism in there has dried out. With a little dry lube you don't want to use regular lubricant because it'll attract more dirt and dust and nastiness causing you even more problems. But as I said you need a 50 Now let's check it out. Video I did a long time ago on how to clean your seat belt. Four cups of super clean, 10 tablespoons of rubbing alcohol, fill the rest of it up. 
with uh, water, hot water, hot as she can get. Now this was nice, beautiful. I just put it in there about five minutes ago. It was nice and beautiful purple because that's what super clean is. And it's already getting filthy, dirty water or cleaner in there. We're gonna let that soak. Hi right, guys, sweet project car's back. We've uh, let our belts soak for about an hour and our mixture, you can use one inch or three quarter inch schedule 40 pipe and you just cut a slot in it like that you see this how dirty that is I want you to watch how well this tool works and you can make it it's so simple you don't need a whole bunch of brushes and vinegar and brush on this little spot and brush on that little spot you don't need to do none of that okay all you got to do and I'm gonna try to do this so you can see the dirt that comes out of this okay all you do is squeeze it in there now you're gonna to have to do this a couple of times, but look at this. And you see it's starting to get cleaner. There's no easy way to do these belts, but look at the grime that's coming out of that.